She, really? she, she breathed on it. Hey. Really? Yeah, no. He what? Had, what? I have a mask for you. Oh, and I, I also want to get I have a mask. Oh, I don't yeah. either. I don't wear a mask. Sir. Sir. I don't wear a mask. 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 Why are you harassing me? I don't wear a mask. <laughs> When I was just a wee lad, my grandpa set me down and he said, Son, don't ever try to understand the actions of somebody who doesn't understand their actions themselves. Now, while that's complete bullshit, both of my grandfathers are dead, I wish somebody would have said that to me when I was just a wee lad, because I keep finding myself coming back to these videos wondering why. You know, they say that there's a time and a place for everything, and for an anti-masker, it always seems like that place is a grocery store. You would think that if they really wanted to get their point across that they would go somewhere like a public park or a public beach. Maybe then like, I, I don't know, 2% of their arguments would make sense. That's probably generous, but they always choose to go to a privately owned establishment that even before the pandemic, sanitation was of the utmost importance. You're talking about a place where majority of the stuff that is sold there goes inside of a person's body. Do these geniuses really think that going there and spreading their germs around is going to make people think, hmm, maybe they're onto something. But that's enough of that, if you couldn't tell by that minute long rant, this video is about a group of anti-maskers who went and I guess protested? I feel like that word has lost all meaning this year. At a grocery store yesterday in California. Judging from the video, a group of about 15 to 20 people went around the store harassing anybody who was wearing a mask. Because everybody with a brain knows the best way to get somebody's opinion to change is to harass them about it in public. I mean, come on, this is common sense, basic knowledge. Now, for some reason that scientists can't explain, the attendance of the grocery store did didn't respond too well to this method, and uh, it led to some slightly tense interactions. Now look, I don't care what you are, you best believe if you try to bulldoze me with a shopping cart, I'm, I'm gonna batten down the hatches, I'm not gonna just let you do it. What are you talking she, really? she, she breathed on Hey, really? Yeah, no, he hit this guy hit a woman. Stop! Hey, this guy hit a woman. Hey, this guy hit a woman. Yo, this guy hit a woman. Get my camera! Hey, this guy hit a woman. This guy hit a woman. This guy hit a woman. Hit the hell ass out of here. Call the cops. He just hit a woman. Pardon me, I I'm sorry. What did he do? I, I didn't quite catch it the first 67 times. Sometimes I really don't know whether to accredit behavior to stupidity or delusion because this woman, even with her room temperature IQ, must know at least on some level that she is the only person that has done any sort of assaulting. Why are you hitting a woman? Why are you hitting a woman? Really? Yeah, no. He hit a this guy hit a woman. You saw him in the video. You hit a woman, bro. Attacking me. How's he attacking you? You hit her. You hit her. You hit her. You hit her. We have it on video. We hit her. Where's the cop? You're a fucking pussy. You're a fucking pussy. Wait. Now I'm confused. They're calling him a pussy for walking away, but I thought he couldn't fight back against the woman. Maybe I gave him too much credit with the room temperature IQ remark. Let's go with freezing temperature. Coughing on somebody is considered assault in the state of California. Oh! Look at what she's doing. You're filming, you're filming her, right? Oh, this coughing. You know, it's kind of funny. The people who disregard COVID are usually the people who should be worried the most about it. I mean, this woman is out of breath walking 15 feet in an air conditioned grocery store. Those lungs are not prepared for an attack. Again, I sometimes don't know when to attribute behavior to stupidity or delusion. I mean, does this woman really believe that she can just raise her hands to the heavens and by the power of God command the grocery store to attack whoever she pleases? It's sad to know people like this actually exist. Half of these anti-mask videos play like SNL skits. Thank you. Psst, kicking somebody is also considered assault in the state of California. Hey, come on! I'm gonna punch you in the face! 
right behind you. Thank you. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry, um, Patriots? You know what? I I'm not even going to question it. I don't have the energy. You know that thing when a person learns a new word and then they start using it in situations that make no sense because they don't actually understand how to use the word? Yeah. You want to wear a mask? Wear a mask. You want to take a mask? Wear a mask. Where is your fucking gloves if you believe there is a Bible? Where is your fucking gloves? Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, gloves are great and all, but generally I think the idea is that it's easier to disinfect your hands than it is to disinfect your lungs. It's funny how all these extreme, like, super right-wingers love to preach the importance of property rights and the right to do what you please with what you own. And then all of that goes flying out the f***ing window the second they step onto somebody else's property. Like, no, the Founding Fathers did not ensure that you have the right to go into a private grocery store. Well, that's pretty much where the clips end. I can't wait for the anti-maskers to find this video. They weren't too happy about my last video about them. So I have my video set to automatically filter out any sort of, like, super inappropriate comments because having a bunch of comments like that on your video will affect the performance of it. But you have the option to, like, go through and see what the system filtered out. And you would not believe how how mad people get and how personally they take these videos. I have like grown ass men, like 40, 50, 60 years old, calling me a dumbass and a snowflake while they're sitting there writing a novel to the 18 year old who just hurt their feelings. But anyways, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and consider subscribing. It really does help my channel grow. I plan on being back to my normal upload schedule next week, but you know, no, no promises. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye. Well, what a ride that was. Wait, are you about to click off this video without subscribing? Clicking off this masterpiece without subscribing would be considered assault in the state of California. Don't make me report you, just subscribe. If you don't, I will be forced to uppercut your grandmother.